I don't know why, but I find it really hard to back up with the ATV uh, when I have a trailer behind. But I need to take this hay here uh, over there. Here is where it's supposed to be. And it's a bit tight here. Someone put a big rock over there and over here. Might have to move them. I'm not gonna make this the most advanced project because uh, honestly I don't know how it will work. Maybe it, maybe it won't perform very well. But I got these two brackets from um, that uh, hydraulic plow that I um, modified for the excavator. So I've got one here and one over here. And my plan is to use this steel here, put it between them and then on that, just weld it like that. And then have the, the tow uh, bar ball on here. And uh, by getting it a bit out like this, uh, it's easier for me to see from up there. And um, I will also be able to use the winch to, you know, get it in position. And also, uh, I want to make it really quick to disconnect because you know, I don't want to drive around with a, a ball here, here all the time. I'm adding these uh, washers here because uh, since I'm just winging the measurements, I want to make sure it's not too tight. I uh, read a comment on another video where uh, a viewer suggested to add some uh, voiceover explaining what's going on in the video instead of music. So I'm gonna add that here and there because I think it was a good idea. When you're welding, make sure to clean the metal. You don't want any paint or rust in your welds. I'm using my Megatronic stick welder with a Certanium 702 rod. It is 3.2mm uh, or 1 8 of an inch and the welder is set to 120 amps. Mm.
I don't have a drill big enough to make this hole, so I'm just gonna cut these threads off and uh, weld it on here. Just one more thing I need to add. Uh, I need something for the winch to, uh, to, to uh, I mean, connect the winch here. So, I don't know, should I drill it or should I weld it? I have everything here for welding, so I think I'm gonna do that.
yeah that that was so much easier to navigate and uh, if you if you move trailers around i suggest you do something like this maybe you can just put a a, a bowl over here somewhere it doesn't have to be winch maneuvered but um i'm really happy with how that turned out and it took me i don't know maybe two hours to make it so i would say that uh, i would say that's well spent time especially since when i use that trailer uh, when we pick up manure it's really hard to get it up there and line it up with that uh, big uh, uh, manure bucket or that IBC tank so I think this will make it a lot more easier but we'll see okay so uh, a little mini project there thank you for watching bye